Okay, welcome back. So, last episode I ended mentioning that I was going to work on some alchemy, and I wanted to show just briefly what I did. Let's... From here, I think we're actually going to hearth back to Crossroads anyway. I should have probably done that at the end of the last episode. Uh, but I did want to briefly talk about what I've done with alchemy. You can see already in my bag, my main backpack. Uh, we've got a pretty nice, pretty nice set of potions. I made some major minor rejuvenation potions, minor mana potions, weak trolls blood potions. We have the swiftness potions from the quest we did last time. I finally learned the recipe for and made those discolored healing potions from the discolored warg hearts we picked up in silver pine, minor defense elixirs, minor fortitude elixir, and an herb baked egg. We had a small egg we got from a random mob, and I happened to have a recipe for herb baked egg, which gave us exactly 40 cooking, which is kind of nice. Our alchemy skills up to 80 now, uh, which is really, really cool. And I made all sorts of stuff, and I put the, a lot of the potions in my bank. Um, these are just from all the reagents we had stocked up, and you could tell uh, one of the best ones to make are these lesser healing potions. I had a lot of minor healing potions, maybe a few stacks, and I made some of those up from a few Briar Thorn I had around into lesser healing potions, and I threw those into the bank because they heal the same as the discolored healing potion, and I want to use these up first so I have fewer of them. Uh, so I made a lot of progress in that regard, which is really, really cool. Uh, let's go ahead and make up some food and water. And for this episode, uh, I know last time I was talking about the report to Anastasia quest. Um, I didn't look into it super closely, but I did briefly verify that it is a chain quest. It wasn't just a, a one-off quest. Uh, it is a chain. I, don't, I didn't really look at the rest of them at all, but it is a multiple step quest line. So at some point we might head over to Silver Pine to do that. Um, and actually while we're there we probably can do possibly a couple other quests now that we've leveled up a bit. So I may go back over there at some point and do a few quests, but for now I want to work on these these green quests here. This, the stolen booty is over he here, I think. Stagnant Oasis is down here, I seem to recall. It should be down here, uh, but Echayaki and Weneki Bolt Bucket and Harpy Lieutenants are all to the north of the zone, uh, or of Crossroads, over here for Ech or no, not over here, over here, I think, for Echayaki, 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 over here, I believe. Uh, the Harpy Lieutenants, I think, are just with the other Harpies, and Weneki is up top, so we're going to Top right, center, top left, and turn in the quests back at Crossroads, and then from there, um, we'll probably do Stolen Booty, Stagnant Oasis, and if I can ever figure out where the Stolen Silver is at, if I can remember. Grouping of Nests south of Ratchet, that's probably where it's at. Uh, Verog is over there in Stagnant Oasis, so maybe we'll do that. Uh, oh, we still have the Find Mancrick's Wife quest. I forgot we had that. At some point, we'll head south and find Mancrick's Wife. Man, I'm so dumb. I've had that quest. Pro I, mm. It's down here. It's it's between the Wailing Caverns along the road, kind of, and Camp Taraho, I believe. I think it's right in this. I should have done that last episode. I totally forgot I had that quest. As I was going down there, I was thinking to myself, where? Why haven't we done the Mancrick? quest yet. And it, I was just like, maybe I've done it and I've forgotten, or I don't know. I, I couldn't come up with a good reason. I didn't take the time to think that I had it. I thought maybe it was like a quest line. I just haven't gotten to that quest yet, etc. And I was just being dumb, obviously. Uh, we discovered Groldom Farm, a rip roaring 76 experience. But anyway, for now, we're heading over to the Echeyak. Right, Ech I was pronounced wrong. Echiyaki quest, and I think I know exactly where this is. I think it's, yeah, I think those bones right there. I think that is where we summon Echiyaki. Uh, let's let's buff up a little bit. Let's throw on our stamina there and increase our maximum health and. These, sure. 
Look at those buffs. Sick. Oh yeah, there's the corpse of Echayaki. I believe we have to play his horn. Yes. Okay. He should spawn very soon. There he is. Got him. Okay. Let's uh, reposition. Hoping for some extra frost effects here, but Echayaki. Echayaki. I probably said his name wrong for 15 years. He's not an overly difficult mob for us at this point. But what's over here? I'm trying to really keep up on my herbs. Oh, I'm going to aggro this guy. I don't know if he calls the horn. I'm trying to really keep up on my herbs because I really, really, really think this is a huge advantage in this run since I have so few stats. Um, so yeah, take the time, farm some herbs. Good to go. Ah, oh, fail. If you watched... Uh, last episode, when I was speeding up the video a bit, there were a few times where I'd speed it up, and um, as I was speeding it up, I would stop to get herbs here or there, and I was always, I would slash sigh whenever it would fail a pickup. It's so sad, like when a harvest fails. It's a very sad feeling. Uh, let's set auto run. So we have to run not super far. And to be entirely honest, it's kind of pointless to do this. I don't know if it's totally pointless, but I think it's a chain that takes us into Ashenvale, which I have no interest in going into. How do I get up on this? I, can, I know I can't climb up this. I have to go up that way. Okay. Well, I'm going to kill this raptor who's probably kind of in our way. Um, he was slightly out of range of my frost bolt, hence fireballs. Ooh, look at that stop. That's perfect. Yeah, I want to get this. I, I'm so... I was even yesterday while I was doing all the alchemy, I was thinking to myself, I was like, man... I don't know if this is even the right path up here. I don't think I can make this. Oh my god. Please don't fall and die. Okay. Well, now I'm... I'm committed to this stupid mage royal. I'm gonna get it eventually. Let's see. Honestly, that's kind of steep. I'm not gonna do it. I changed my mind. I really don't want to die by falling. I would feel really, really, really bad. Like, I'm probably gonna die in this tune before I hit 60. I'm pretty confident it's gonna happen. Um, I just don't want it to be because I was going on my way for mage royal. Like, there are bigger, there are better reasons to die than falling off a stupid, not that big cliff. So, we're gonna go see Wenneke, we're gonna turn in the Broken Sama Flange, and I think, it's, I know it's a chain, I, I just for some reason thought it takes you into Ashenvale, but now that I think about it, I think the Sama Flange questline is self-contained to the Barons. So maybe it's a little unnecessary running up here. Uh, non or maybe it's not unnecessary. Maybe it's actually worthwhile to do it. Um, and then we'll go kill some harpies. And I think the harpies we need. Yeah, the slayers. Make sure they die painfully. Jesus. This quest is rough. Um, but anyway, what I was thinking is, while I was doing some alchemy yesterday, this... this uh, Torrin over here is reminding me of this. I was considering sitting down and doing some fishing because here's the thing cooking is kind of hard to level in my opinion they're not hard but you have to make a effort in to some extent and there's no wolves out in the barrens I'm not gonna get any wolf meat I'm not gonna get any wolf meat for this recipe the boars are in Duratar I don't think there's any boars in the barrens and I'm not killing the mobs that drop the herb baked eggs very much so I basically can't skill this up here. Like, it will never skill up. Um, and there are a lot of fishing things you can do later on. And I was like, oh, maybe we should just do that. Like, go ahead and wait, it levels up to like 50, get the first fishing recipe, and then start making fish. But I'm not going to do it. It's it's tedious to fish. All right, we found Wenneke. Uh, oh, what's this? A samaflange, you say? What's a samaflange? Ah, uh, but look at the way it moves, and you handle it. And there's a the sound of intricate gears inside. Oh, my. I want to fix it and see what it does, don't you? 
I do. Bring 15 nugget slugs to Wanake Bolt Bucket. Oh, okay. This is in the sludge fen. I remember this. I knew there was more to do in the sludge fen. I didn't know which quest line. I forgot. It is the Samoflange quest line. I swear it really is my favorite quest line. Despite apparently having no knowledge of the order of the quests. But. So, friendly raiding guild. Greetings. Level 60 on a... Do I want to join a friendly raiding guild? I'm skeptical of this. I'm skeptical of this. Who's in this guild? Apparently, quite a few people. Hmm. We'll see how long this lasts. I have a low tolerance for joining guilds that are annoying. <laughs> like, I just... I just, uh... G quit very quickly. Um... Because... I find it... I don't know, I guess I'm just kind of a loner sometimes. Like these like these people waiting in line for uh, the goblin whose name I'm forgetting from two episodes back. But yeah, I find it kind of annoying being guild sometimes. Um, yeah, so we'll see. This probably won't last. Alright, so we're, this is the sludge fan up ahead. We've been here before, you might recall. I think it was literally two episodes ago. We kind of moseyed around it. We didn't actually do anything in the sludge fins. Um, but this time we're going to pick up some buckets of bolts, which I think are pretty easy to get to. And these mobs shouldn't be very high level. Yeah, we should be okay. I know where the bolt buckets are at, I think. Nugget slugs, that's what we're looking for. Um... Yeah, so let's see. Like these things, yep. I call them bolt buckets, but they're nugget slugs that are in the bolt buckets, which makes sense. Or tool buckets, I guess, rather. These guys have a fair amount, fairly fast spawn rate, I think, respawn rate. So I need to be, oh, I got three, okay. I didn't remember that they drop um, more than one per bucket. There's one up here, and there's one right there, sweet. Someone just asked in general, what beers do you guys drink? I'm not a big drinker. Like, I don't drink a lot. I honestly probably have, like, one or two servings of alcohol a month. If that. Um, it's just not... I don't know. Like, I, I like drinking. I, I used to drink more when I was uh, younger, but as I get older, I just find myself drinking less and less, I think. At least, I don't know if it's lower now than it was... This guy's gonna steal my bolt bucket, isn't he? Nah, bro. This is mine. You can have that one. Go, go pull that mob. I'm just totally stealing this from this guy. I have no sympathy. He was gonna steal that one from me. Like, clearly I was pulling that mob. He can, uh... He can pack it. Uh, so anyway, I, I like to drink, um, but I'm not like a heavy drinker, but I recently found something called zombie dust. Uh, I, it's a, I really don't know much about beers, like I'm not, I just don't know a lot about them, but zombie dust is good. I like that. I honestly will drink almost any beer, though, like I'll try anything, um, which includes like Budweiser, Bud Light, whatever. Like, I mean, I, I you know, they're not amazing, they're fine, like I'm... I'm not very picky of them. Oh, Chen's empty keg. I was, I think that starts a quest. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe a mob drops something and then I need to loot this. But I think this starts a quest on its own. Chen's empty keg. I just can't remember. I know I did this. Oh, let's see. Yes, got it. Okay, cool. Um, is there a bucket here? Oh, nice. Did, it, did that just spawn or am I just totally blind? I think I got overwhelmed by the joy of finding Chen's empty keg. Uh, let's start a quest with this bad boy. Chen's empty keg. A small placard on one of the ends of the keg says, Chen Storm Stout. May your spirit be raised and always raise your spirits. Find... What is the coincidence of someone asking about beer, me talking about beer, and then finding Chen's empty keg? 
I mean, I'm just saying. That was pretty great. Find someone who knows something about Chen's empty keg. Well, that's back in Ratchet, I think. There's a bolt bucket, like, right there, but I kind of wanted to find one. It's a bit safer to get to. This will be fine. This will be fine. Um, oh, this guy shoots arrows, apparently. It's annoying. Uh, so, yeah. I'll drink any beer at least once to try it. Um, honestly, I generally drink a lot of just, like, your common, standard, sort of boring beers. Like Bud Light or whatever, because most places have them. Um... Zombie dust, something I've been drinking recently a little bit. When I go out with my uh, co-workers for like a lab lunch, um, we enjoy... We've been trying to do that about once a month. It's a new thing we're starting. I'll have a beer with lunch. Zombie dust. Good stuff. I don't know if it's regional or not. I don't think it is, but... I'm not an expert. Um, yeah, so... Anyway. That's the beer I like. So the next thing I need to do, I need to get this bucket. I need like probably two more buckets, so pretty good shape here. I wonder if this guy's going to aggro me if I, I, yeah, he's going to aggro for sure. I'm like really, really close to him. Um, hey, that bucket respawned really fast respawn rates, wow. It's crazy. Alright, if I get three out of this one, I'll be good to go for that other bucket behind me. Otherwise, if I get two, I might not have enough. Or one. Okay, I definitely might not get enough out of this. Um, let's hope for a four-pack. Not a hard quest, though, as you can tell. I mean, especially at this level. Of course, one short. Well, fine. There's a bucket right here, so we will grab it very quickly. Um, but yeah, I think the Chen Storm Stout quest turn in is in Ratchet. I think it's like a little hut, kind of on the dock side of the town. Um, I don't think his, the Chen's keg is always this location. I think there's multiple locations it can spawn. And I don't really know how it works, to be honest. If there's like only one at a time that exists, or multiple can exist. But I believe they can be... Um, I believe there's at least more than one spot. I don't think it's only there, but I'm not totally sure. <laughs> okay, well anyway, we've got our 15 nugget slugs. I almost said slug nuggets, but our nugget slugs, and we're gonna go turn those in back to Winicky. It's an easy quest, not too bad. Killed a few mobs, had a little fun. Found a keg, one more can you want. I kinda wanna kill this Baron's Kodo. It's a beast, right? So I can polymorph it? Okay. I've wanted to take on a Kodo uh, since I got to the Barrens. Yeah, I'm always a little bit nervous about doing that for obvious reasons. Because Kodos are kind of terrifying. That 10% stun, by the way, talent. I swear this thing is insane. I, it's, I feel like it procs way more than 10%, by the way. Alright, I got nothing out of that except for uh, 124 rested experience. It's good enough, I'll take it. A little buff for a buddy here. Unibet. Level 16. Warlock. Yeah, so... Anyway, we are, um... Hopefully... Hopefully... Do we really have three complete quests? Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's, um... We also have this one in Silver Pine. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'll go to Silver Pine soon. Honestly, I, I, like the, the trek back and forth is kind of a waste of time in a lot of ways. If you're really looking to level level efficiently, you definitely... I, I would say almost every Horde character should go to the Barrens. I feel like you can get through a ton of stuff here. There's plenty of mobs to just grind on if you want to do that. Which is honestly really efficient in a lot of ways. I think, truthfully, I think the fastest way to level is purely grinding. With maybe a few quests that are relevant quests. Um, But I'm not a huge fan of grinding. As you may have noticed, I find it extremely tedious and not really necessary. So even for this character, I'm probably eventually going to have to sit down and grind some stuff, but um, we'll see. 
Anyway, um, here is Winneke. Zone, or, uh, yeah, spawning, or not, what do you call it? Phasing in? Becoming visible? Within view distance? She's kind of... I've never really looked closely at Winneke. I've never, I can't, she's kind of... Huh, what's she holding? Like a, a wrench? Um, Nugget Slug, okay. Great, you got them. Now I can get to work. Complete quest. Alright, let's get started. What, what's going on here? She's got the Samoth Lange. In progress. And it blew up. Rip. Okay. Oops. Bring the broken and battered Samoth Lange to Really Greasy Gob in Gor Gorgomar. I love that name. Really Greasy Gob. Uh, so we gotta go in the Valley of Honor, which I think is... Yeah, he's in a little hut, like over here. I think it's this specific building. So, okay, well. Our quest line marches onwards, but for now we are going to go take out some Harpy Lieutenants. So we need to kill six at least. Just depends if they drop if they drop what we need or not. Um, here is to hoping. Oh, herbs? Herbs? I'm kind of looking for Briarthorn now. Like, eh, Mage Royal is good. There's a lot of things I can make with it. But, man. But this is that same... This one. I'm so angry at this Mage Royal. This has happened to me. It's right there. Eh, 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 eh. Glitchy. AF. Fake Mage Royal. Seriously. That's the same one. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure. I saw this one a few episodes back when we were up here, and I remember being like, huh, I swear there was a mage royal here, I guess someone looted it, and then I run away, and I kind of remember thinking, like, huh, maybe it is there, and eh, left it alone, but it definitely was there, so, that's annoying. Someone has cleared all the ornery plane striders away, which is beautiful, because they're kind of annoying, they're, I guess you could say ornery, but I appreciate that. Savannah Patriarch, yeah. I wonder who's killing these things and why. Alright, how do I get this Mage Royal? It's like well camped by like all these mobs. Can I just like sneak in between these safely? I've done next to no sneaking out of fear of getting wrecked by mobs. Like aggroing a bunch of stuff. Oh, this is bad. This is risky herb of the day. Thank you for working the first time, herb. Oh god. All of a sudden, I was expecting all three of those mobs to kind of pinpoint on me, to just coincidentally, like, path towards me. All three of them aggro on me, and that be how I die. It's like, oh god, here we go. But it did not happen. Uh, I was getting ready to Frost Nova, and then Slumber Sand, which I've never used. Been holding that for a rainy day. I should Google it, make sure it's a. Uh, it works on mobs over like level ten or something. I'm, I've been holding on to that since level seven or something. I think I got it. Oh, I should go to Duratar and get the really sticky glue that's down there. That's another good one. Which I think both those work on mobs of any level, but you get like five uses of each and they're gone. So. All right, where are the Slayers at? They're like deep in this territory. I'm not even remotely close enough. Oh, good. There's some friendly faces over here. My hope is that they've thinned out the, uh, the Harpy Herd a little bit. Oh, I got a root sample on that last one too. Nice. I just realized that. Okay, who are these? This is a... Okay, a mage. One of them's a mage, though. Sword of the Magistrate. Look at those stats. H strength, 15 stamina, 10 spirit. It looks pretty plain. Actually kind of nice looking. It's like a, just a very standard sword. Can't knock it too much. Okay, the Slayers appear to be... Oh, Sister Wrath Talon, huh. The Slayers appear to be level 17 exclusively? Herbs? Let's go get them. I have become highly motivated 
for herbs. <laughs> like I'm looking at what I do with this and I basically am always just like, oh, herbs, let's go. Whatever. I probably should grab the major oil first, probably more valuable, but this is like an instant, like it'll 100% succeed. So I figured, oh, this I guess should always succeed now too, it's yellow, so. Cool. Okay. Well, uh, that's a weird name for someone over there. I'm not gonna even say that name out loud. Um, probably gonna die, like, in-game. All right, let's go get our Slayers. Uh, we could probably, like, kind of hang around the edges here and be relatively, relatively safe. Like, I don't need to necessarily panic. I don't know what these cast at all. I have no idea if they cast stuff or they're melee mobs or they stun or whatever. We'll find out in a moment. Oh, nice. They demoralizing shout. Melee attack power reduced by 34. Joke's on you. I don't have a melee. Okay, well, that guy's gonna get that one. It's annoying. Uh, drop rate is 0% so far. <laughs> That's okay. Only one mob in. Let's uh, hope for some better drops. Also, let me double check. This is the right mob after this pull. I'll just make sure. I just love that my armor can proc the stun. Like, I really didn't realize that was the case when I was picking that talent. That makes it so good. Well, light feather, that's kind of nice. I guess I can eat this thing, right? Yeah, humanoids. These are humanoids, right? Nice, I can also polymorph them. That's handy. Things to keep in mind. Silver leaf, huh? I haven't seen a lot of silver leaf in the Barrens, so it's kind of nice to pick some up because I do have some uses for it still. Although to be honest, I mostly care about getting herbs right now for the root sample quest because it's just like free experience. So, you know why not? I'm gonna zoom out further after this mob. Um, I'm just a little bit worried about. The mob, uh, like something popping up behind me, working in kind of a tight quarters area. All right, this drop rate is trash. Um, I'm gonna get off this side here for a sec. Let's do this. Drink slash console camera distance max factor space five. Much look at that zoom. Look at that. Much 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 better. Um, and now I also want to collect six Harp Lieutenant Rings from Witch Wing Slayers. Okay. These are Witch Wing Slayers, so I think I should be good here. Ooh. 88 damage for us, both crit. I like it. Yeah. I'll say this, if I kill like three or four more and none of them drop these rings, I'm probably gonna bail out on this quest. Like, I just don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's good. Maybe I should do it. I really do need to farm up. Just like kind of grind out a little bit of experience at this point. It wouldn't hurt. So maybe I should do this. Back up. Frostbolt, Frostbolt, Frostbolt. Easy. Oh, it's Wand after this. Yeah, okay. Got him. Got her? Seriously. Ooh, is that a new upgrade? 20 separate armor chest? No, it's not an upgrade. And also looks worse. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on with this drop rate. I Maybe it really is just a terrible drop rate. <laughs> but yikes. Uh, what, did we killed four or five of these so far and got nothing? That's pretty bad. Like, like that's, that's bad. Um, they're not bad mobs, though. They're easy to kill. Which I can appreciate. Like if these were tough mobs, like all these stunned or silenced or something, I'd, but I'd probably be gone by now. I'm like, well, I'm out. <laughs> Skip this quest. But this is not bad. It's kind of uh, pretty isolated up here. I don't think there's any way over the mountains here that I'm aware of. Um, there's some pretty cool like wall walking stuff you can do, or you could do in like the first patch a while. The first like up until patch like 1.2. I think you could do some really neat wall walking, but that's not really the case anymore, obviously. And hasn't been the case since like the first couple months of Vanilla Wells' existence. Um, 
Wall walking. There we go, got a ring. Okay, wall walking did exist, does still exist in Vanilla WoW, even on the final patch. But it's not uh, what it was in the original patch or two. And truthfully, I mean, that looks moderately climbable. Looks, I've never tried, but it might be something you could climb up. I don't know who that is, and I don't care. Like, it doesn't... It doesn't help me on this quest. I don't think... I didn't need a frost note of that guy. Drops aren't shared on this quest. Drops aren't shared anyway, I believe. Um, like, I, I don't think... I guess, so what I mean is, if this mob drops that ring, like the one I just looted, I don't think we both would be able to loot it. Like, one person gets it. Um, I don't really need help on this quest. And it kind of goes against the, the Iron Man philosophy that I've been trying to stick to for the most part, which is to try and solo stuff. Um, did a few groups here or there, but largely it was just because we were all camping the same mob, and I could have soloed it, but... Ooh, that is nice. Oh, wait, is that nice? I don't think it stacks. <laughs> Four intellect. No, that does not stack anyway with arcane intellect, I'm pretty sure. And... Even if it does, it's only four intellect. It's not quite as good as our stacked, amazing seven intellect. So good. Okay, so this guy is so gonna die. Maybe. What do we think, folks? Oh no, he's got the witch collar is going down. Oh, we got a buddy here. Right? What? Why is this hunter got a staff? What is going on? I didn't realize that that was a hunter. I thought it was a druid because the staff. Well, that druid is gonna die. Nah, druid's fine. Or Hunter's fine. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. Please enjoy your arcane intellect. But now I want to get out of combat, so I'm going to help kill this mob. Okay, much better. Someone's looking for a group for Gazrilla farming. Gazrilla, right? That's the uh, mob in Zol Farak. Is that right? Who farm? What do you farm that for? I mean, I guess I could look at the loot table, but I don't remember ever doing that myself. Hmm. I'm sure there's something I'm missing about that. Like, I'm sure it's obvious if I just look at the loot table, but I just don't remember what the, what Gazrilla drops. That'd be that worthwhile. Oh wait, that's a rogue feather. <laughs> the rogue feather is the same model as the Slayer, but smaller. Interesting. Same model and same color scheme, I think. It looks like it. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think so. Hmm. I didn't really notice that. Sermagaska. I hope that wasn't a bad word in another language. I would feel very bad for saying that out loud. The drop rate on this has picked up remarkably in the last, like, five or six mobs. I mean, it went from being a quest where it's like, oh, I'm going to quit this quest. not worth my time to getting like three in a row and then another one or two in the next two or three mobs. Like it's solid. I'm very happy to drop right now. It's closer to almost 50%, honestly. Oh, almost full on bag space. I just noticed because of that sword and I was like, oh man, I know we're getting kind of close on bag space, but yeah, we're getting very close. It's a good thing I actually picked up that old money bag, otherwise be kind of hosed. Yeah, so I'm gonna start burning through these buff potions. Um, these four? No, sorry. These three are all things I'm just gonna start using up just pretty much frequently. I'm gonna actually use up this egg too, which will give me a buff of uh, some spirit, I believe, after I eat for 10 seconds. Like a well fed buff, am I right? Yeah, there we go. Spirit and stamina increased by two each. I'll take it. Just to clear up some space, it's not that big of a buff, but I'll take what I can get. It's the super, uh, super sneaky way of doing an Iron Man is to farm up all your own reagents and use them, which, like I said, technically breaks the rules, but I don't really care, because I'm having a lot of fun running around for the herbs. It's been a lot of fun focusing on alchemy while I've been leveling so far. I've actually enjoyed it quite a bit. It gives me a little more, um, a little more focus 
on what I'm doing while I'm questing. It's like, oh, there's an herb note. I should make an effort to go get it. Like, I enjoy that. Keeps me a little more um, motivated. Makes certain quests seem a little more valuable to do. Because they're adding, you know, I go out of my way to get the quest, and along the way I find an herb, and that's cool. Okay, <clears throat> so let's see. You know, I, I wanted to say, I think I mentioned this in a recent BFA Let's Play, but I don't know if I mentioned it in a vanilla Iron Man. So I want to mention here, because I know people don't necessarily watch both. There is a silver leaf over here I'm going to go grab. Um, a close family member of mine is having surgery soon. Not my wife, not me, but a close family member is having surgery soon. Um, oh, dead pet, that's sad. And the... Um, the spouse of that family member is going to stay with my wife and I for anywhere from 5 to 14 days. It just depends on the recovery time from the surgery uh, of that person's spouse. So they'll be staying in our guest room. The guest room is where I have, we also, also use that as our office. So my wife's computer's in here, my computer's in here. Um, that's also where I record all these videos. So it's very likely that there'll be anywhere from 5 to 14 days where I will be completely unable to record anything because basically I do that in the morning. It's very likely that our guest will be sleeping during that time and I don't really feel like coming in here recording while they're trying to sleep. Um, so it might be like a kind of a big break on videos in like mid to late March, unfortunately. Um, it's not so much the videos that I'm disappointed about, but the reason is kind of a sad reason because surgery and surgery, you know, uh, has risk associated with it. Outcomes are very optimistic for this for my family member, but um, you know, there's always risks involved. So um, we're always we're a little, all a little anxious about it, but I'm, like I said, I'm optimistic overall. Uh, maybe I didn't say that, but I am optimistic overall because the outcome is supposed to be good um, based on everything the surgical team has said to us. So cross our fingers that everything goes well and recovery is short would be good. And uh, I'll be back either way, um, whether it's five days or 14 days eventually, I'll be back with some new videos at that point. By the way, we did get our very last lieutenant's insignia, or harpy lieutenant ring, I guess, what it actually is. And I just picked up a, what was that? Earthroot, which I always mix up with Briarthorn. I always think of them as being the same thing, even though I recognize that they're not. Um, but more importantly, there's some Briarthorn over here that I'm hoping to snag very quickly, which is great. Oh, that poor rogue was trying to get it. I didn't realize that. Sad. I didn't even get a skill up on that. It's a bummer. Uh, so anyway, we're done with this quest now. So, uh, Harpy Lieutenant's done. Root samples... 7 of 8, which is pretty cool. Might be able to snag our final one or two on the way back to the crossroads. So we're going to head back to crossroads, turn in Chen's empty keg, at, in Ratchet, I guess, at G... Yeah. Oh, who is that? Thank you, sir, or madam. Madam, I guess. Uh, so I want to go um, back to Baron's, or back to the crossroads. Turn in our final, turn our quests, and then we'll maybe go to Stagnant Oasis next. Stolen Booty and Stagnant Oasis, I don't know. Probably do, dang, I was really just hoping that would drop my uh, last root sample. Small furry par. Par. Small furry paw. Okay. So let's go to Crossroads. So I'm hoping to get another root sample. What I want to do then is get to Crossroads, turn in everything we have, fly to Ratchet, turn in hopefully the root sample quest, but definitely at least Chen's empty keg. Excuse me. I just burped. If you heard that, my apologies. Um, head south to Stolen Booty. Do that quest. Again, then go back up and turn that in. This guy's gonna die. Is he? No. Managed to evade everything. Good for you, sir. Good for you. Yeah, so then go uh, Stolen Booty, turn that quest in after I complete it, and then probably Stagnant Oasis is the way to go. I love buffing strangers. Something about it just feels so nice. Uh, <laughs> it's, 
I don't know. It's just so easy. It requires almost no effort for me. Uh, the only downside is it puts me at a bit of a disadvantage. Is there a chest in here? I thought I saw one. No. Okay. Sometimes there's treasure chests in uh, these centaur huts. I just want to take a little peeky peek in there, but I didn't see it, so... Um, anyway, I will be, uh, I like buffing people. It's easy. The only downside is, like I was, I was about to say, was that, um, it uses up some of your mana. So in certain situations, that can be really bad. <laughs> like, if I use up my mana buffing, let's say, two people that are grouped up together, and then I run into a, um, an aggressive mob, that can be really scary. But so far, I've been fortunate, haven't had any major problems. I also tend not to buff. This guy's already got the Spirit of Xandalar. He's he's super buffed. He's like stacked. Oh hey, he uh, dropped out of PvP, so I'll buff him. See, I generally will. Look at this person: Dragon Slayer buff and War Chief's blessing. Man, I just need to camp out in Orgrimmar. I do appreciate it when people say thanks when I buff them randomly. It's nice. Like, I don't know. It's not a big deal. I don't expect it, but it's nice. And I also appreciate when people buff me back. Although I, not really, I think at the beginning of this series, I said I would never buff anyone that could buff me back unless they buffed me first because I didn't want to get extra buffs. And that was my rule. I was like, if no, if someone buffs me, I will keep it. If I buff them and then they in return buff me, then I will, um, click it off. So basically like if they get random buffs I'll allow it but otherwise I won't. Here comes a buff. I feel it. Nope. Scumbags. All of you. Look at that. I'm just stacking the arcane intellect on people. Anyway, um, I have like <laughs> I basically am like the worst Iron Man sticking, sticking to rules person ever. But the gear. The gear is a big thing. Look at that. I mean, honestly, I feel like doing an Iron Man purely with this gear, like with white gear, is in vanilla, is by itself an accomplishment. Um, plus any of the other things I'm mildly sticking to. Uh, well, that plus not dying, right? So this plus not dying, that, that, that to me is impressive. Or just a sign of intense, intense insanity. But yeah, so <laughs> it is what it is. Sorry for the ramble. We're almost back to the crossroads, and uh, got a couple quests to drop off. Then we'll make a trip to the east, to the to the ratchet, to ratchet. Say hello to um, someone that I think can help us with Chen's Chen's keg. I think I'm ninety percent sure that's where it's at. All right. Yeah, I was going to say, I think our quest giver is up on this tower. And I believe I'm correct. I don't... I don't think we're going to ding today. I think I'm a little bit too slow. These are kind of... Wait, hold on a sec. Did I see an herb over here? Or did someone just grab that? 90% sure I saw an herb over here. but Huh. Missed it. Oh well. I'll go back up to the tower now. But I've been running around a lot this episode, which has made my leveling a little inefficient. You've beaten Echeyaki, and though his days of hunt hunting are over, his spirit is with you. He will show you the strength found in subtlety and the honor and mercy. Your path is so long, mage. Let's hope you stride it well. Cool. Thank you. The spirit flows through me. Nice. Uh, the hunt deepens. Hunt the sunscale wrappers to the south. Okay. I think I know this quest. I think it's... The Angry Scythe Claws. Hmm. I was worried it was going to be a higher level than that, but no, it looks doable. We'll probably try to work on that while I'm working on the Stagnant Oasis quests down there. But I will start by... Before I go down there, I'm going to clean up my bags quite a bit. Alright, excellent work, my friend. I think you'll go far within the Horde. Slay Serena Bloodfeather and turn her head to Darsok's Swift Dagger. Uh, Serena Bloodfeather is the sister of a harpy named Bloodfeather who was slain by Rexar quite a while ago. Oh, is this like the um, the bonus campaign in Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne? 
You think so? I need you to slit her throat, bring me back her head. This is the like most brutal quest line, the descriptions of things. Jeez. Uh now is this an elite quest? No, maybe not. Okay, so we probably could do this quest also. Hmm. Cool, okay. Well, I'm gonna go over here, vendor off a few things. I got some junk here we probably don't need anymore. Um, yeah, definitely some stuff I can't use or don't need. This guy sells herbs? Huh. They're apparently sold out, which is not surprising. Recipe Holy Protection Potion. Interesting. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, stuff to vendor. This and this. I'm still stocking up those light feathers. This scroll of intellect, I believe, doesn't stack with is it stack? I don't I don't think it stacks with Arcane Intellect. I'm gonna try to just cast it on myself and it should give me an error or change nothing. I've got 918 mana. More powerful spells are oh, yeah, okay. So this is just vendor trash for me. Alright, what else do I need to get rid of? Healing and claw. Okay. I think that is everything. Finally. Yes. The temple. Put all my herbs up here. That's basically an herb, this lesser healing potion. And is that not really an herb? I guess it's I'm thinking of the minor healing potions. Earth root, yeah. Okay, good. I'm feeling pretty good about this. This can go there. I do love trying to get my out and wool cloth thing here that. I do try to get all of my quest items near the top of my bags. It feels better to do that. Um, like, I don't know, like when I, like here. I start up next episode, I'm like, okay, it's gonna sit down, I'm gonna level. I kill some mobs, I gotta vendor some stuff off, now what do I vendor? It's a lot easier having all my stuff that I'm not gonna vendor up here, for the most part. I guess this, these conjured waters are kind of annoying sometimes, in the way that works. Um, but yeah, like this is all stuff I'm not gonna vendor. So I can not worry about it for the most part. Um, this stuff I'm gonna not vendor either, so put it kind of in a different bag, and then all the stuff fills in the middle. Obviously that's vendor trash, which is kind of convenient if it works. I know there's add-ons that make it easier, but um, yeah, we'll see. Any strangle kelp out here? Can I farm strangle kelp yet? I don't know if I'm quite there. Herbalism, it's, oh, I need to skill up herbalism. Dang. That's really bad. I just, I was wondering, I thought I got Briarthorn earlier and didn't skill up, and I was like, that's weird. Maybe it's yellow now. Oh man, I need to go speak to an herbalism trainer. I don't know if there's any... Yeah, I need to speak to an herbalism trainer like ASAP. There's our, uh... There's our... Quest turn in person, I think. Um... There is a bank here. Let me show you the bank real quick while we're here. I think you guys maybe find it interesting. This is what's left of my um, herb stash. Like, I, I basically filled up my bank. So I need to buy another bag, or get another bag. When I get another one to replace one of these, I'll buy a 10 silver slot here and throw more stuff in. Um, but yeah, I, I made enough extra potions that I literally have, uh, like, I don't know, what is this? Three, six, seven, eight stacks of potions extra. Um, for the most part, these minor healing potions, I'm going to use with Briarthorn to make lesser healing potions. It's a really easy way to skill those up. Um, I guess my light feather I can stick in there. Yeah, so, working on it, but I really, oh man, I need to go train Herbalism. There, there might be one in between Crossroads and Ratchet, but I'm not totally sure. We need to go to Orgrimmar anyway, we have a quest to turn in there for the Samoflange, so I'll just do that at that point. Well, I'll be. This is one of Ken, or Chen Stormstout's kegs. He traveled with Rexar a long time ago. I haven't seen or heard about him in a Kodo's age. I appreciate you bringing this to me, Super Mage. Bring five Savannah Lion Tusks, five Plain Shatter Kidneys, and one Thunder Lizard Horn to Brewmaster Drone in Ratchet. It's not a overly difficult quest. Um, we just need to go kill a bunch of mobs. So, at some point we'll do that. But for now, 
I think I'm gonna wrap this episode up by trying to get the stolen booty completed. And then... I feel like there should be an herbalism trainer here. But then I want to go to Org Grimmar. And... For two reasons. Basically, one, um, to do the same Avalanche quest, and two, to make sure I can train herbalism. And then I'll be able to skill up herbalism some more. I feel dumb that I've been stuck at 75. I totally forgot that it maxes out there. There's Strangle Kelp up there. Like, why is there Strangle Kelp up here? This makes no sense. I don't actually think I can loot Strangle Kelp yet, anyway. But I want to make sure that's true. Alright. Because if I can, then I've got a good use for it eventually. Oh, okay, so I can't, okay. Also, there's level 19 lobsters out there. I really don't want to get eaten by those, so... Okay, but at least it's good to know I can't loot it yet anyway, that's fine. I think it's like 85 for strangle kelp. It's definitely less than 100, right? I think. I think it's 85, maybe it's bruise weed I'm thinking of. Anyway, so I need to do the stolen booty. Um, I'm still got my buffs going, it's good. Oh, whoa, respawns. Low level respawns that won't actually give me any loot, that's annoying. Or like any experience. I think it's one of these camps. There's just like a box here or something. I thought. Well, not that camp. Let's keep going. Maybe it's just someone looted and it's not respawned. But maybe these camps, I know it's before, it's well before you get to the actual... Like the main base in here, Tyrgard Keep, is that what it is? Tyrgard, I think. But it has been a while since I've done it. I'm just kind of gently running my mouse over everything, just trying to check for stuff. I think this one has one. I think it's right here, one of them. I swear. That's right. And then this one down here. I'm convinced I'm correct on that. That's a terrible name. Jeez. Some people. Um, well, maybe I'm wrong on that. I could have sworn it's just in these camps. There's one fragile do not drop. I remember that. Okay, I think the other one's farther south than that. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I don't know. Let's grab this one at least, and I will figure it out from here. Let's loot this before this guy aggros onto me. Thanks. Perfect. Um... Let me check this camp. Uh, if it's not here, I'm kind of lost. Because I thought... Wait, there it is. Driz you right? Is that it? Drizlix Emporium? That's probably it. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Super easy quest. We are done, and we can get on out of here. Thank you. Shipment of boots. Easy quest. I wish I'd done it earlier uh, with my other pirate quest. Kind of a mistake on my part for planning quests and all that, but... It's not a big deal. I mean, it, right, this was a five minute detour. It's probably worth my time. Uh, we will get some, these would actually be pretty nice gloves. Like if, if I was not doing an Iron Man, I would definitely, I'd very likely be equipping those gloves. Um, I also like the buff people's pets, by the way, because you can watch its mana, it will increase thanks to that. So not totally worthless. Uh, I'm not gonna buff the rogue. It doesn't help him much. And there are some respawns up here that I, like to avoid having low mana for. I'm so excited to hit 20. We're not going to hit 20 today. I know we're not. But I'm so excited to hit 20. It's going to be... Wait for it. A legend? Wait, I got it wrong. <laughs> it's going to be legend. Nope, I still messed it up. It's going to be legend. Wait for it. Dairy. Honestly, How I Met, how I Met Your Mother is not... It's not a perfect TV show. There's a lot of problems with it. I can see why people may or may not like it. I, for one, find How I Met Your Mother to be um, one of the very best, like, just kind of sitcom-y sort of shows. Like, I love that show. Um, I think it's great. I want to check. I want to talk in Guild Show real quick. Anyway, I love How I Met Your Mother. I think it's a great show. I have probably watched the entire series 
three or four times. Maybe the last season I've seen only once. I don't think I ever rewatched the final season. And the rewatches I did do were, you know, so I've probably seen the first six seasons like four times. And then like the season after that, like three. And then season after that, like two times. And the final season once. Something like that. Because I'd rewatch them leading up to the new season's premiere. Um, where do we turn this in? Gaslo, right? But anyway, I love How Me Your Mother. I think it's fun. But and I like the ending, even though even though I can see why people didn't. I happen to like it, but I don't want to spoil it for people. Um, and the alternative ending that I saw on YouTube was also very good. I can see why people would maybe even prefer that one, but yeah. Anyway, let's go chat up Gazo. Is there a fight going on over here? What's going on? Someone's got some PvP action. Hmm. That's all I wanted. Yeah, that's the max. All right, what's Gazlo got for us? Gazlo, Gazlo, Gazlo. Hey all right, it's a relief to get all this stuff back. So thanks for your help, Super Mage. You know I could use undead like you to help out with my operation here. If you're ever looking for work, don't forget about how well Gazlo pays for service. We're gonna go with the mail thing. We're gonna just sell it off. Um, anyway, I have an easy 1,200 experience. A little bit of Reputation, right? How much? 50, 100 reputation? Oh, 250 ratchet. Nice. I don't know how much ratchet reputation matters even slightly, but... Yeah, so... Hmm. Okay. We have... One final thing to do. By the way, I hate that the Orgamore flight path from ratchet requires you to go to crossroads. Like, what? I just go straight. It's faster. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to speed up the video. When we land in Orgrimmar, we're going to turn in one of our quests, and we are going to train our herbalism skill. So we'll be right back. Welcome back to Orgrimmar. We were here not too long ago, and I want to talk to a guard once I get down here. I think I know where the herbalism trainer is at. I think it's in the drag, but I'm not totally sure, and I'd like to just figure that out. Um, I also want to do one quick thing at the bank. Uh, do I have anything to vendor? I do have at least this thing to vendor. Um, not the bank, the auction house. I want to do one quick thing. Take a look for something. All right, so first up, I can vendor those because I can't use those. Second, I want to see. Let's uh, do this. Let's do some rebuffs. I like this guy up here, the pretty orc sleeping up here. I'm looking for. This. I forget if this works. Uh, red. Is this red? Let's turn that off. I'm gonna try something else. Um, I'm looking for something here. Yeah, there we go. I need someone to buy me one of these things. Basically, I need a pet. I was thinking about it. It's like I need. I don't think chickens are. Okay, no chicken. There we go. Hmm. How much is a squirrel? I think squirrels might be engineers only. I can't remember if they're only engineers. I can use them. Oh, binds when used. Yeah, okay, so it is It is limited to that. Um, what other pets are there? There's just not that many. And maybe I will... I need to find someone to be like a... Sugar daddy or sugar... Sugar? Sugar mama for me or something. Hook me up with a whelpling. That's what I need to find. Anyway, let's 
head back to our quest. Oh no, I need to go to the uh, vendor. Oh, sorry, not the vendor, the herbalism trainer, and then I need to go back to the back corner over here. And I'll probably hearth back to crossroads immediately at the end of this episode, so we're ready to go next time. Herbalism, herbalism, I think it's along here. I meant to grab a guard, but I wasn't paying attention. Leather workers, okay. You don't train herbalism that often, you know? Like, it's like, oh, I shouldn't have dropped down, probably should have stayed up there. But here we go. No, but not that. Profession trainer. Herbalism, yes. There is an herbalism trainer over here, which almost assuredly is up on this hill that I just jumped off of because I'm an idiot. I, I thought it was up there, and for some reason I was like, oh, let's go down and talk to a guard. And, nope, dumb. Um, maybe I can go up this and get over there? I don't know if this connects to that bridge up there or not. I like the ramp, it might. Oh, what am I doing? No, no, I don't think it does. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, perfect. Alright, so here we go. Let's finally, finally made it to the herbalism trainer. Herb pouch. Would it be worth getting an herb pouch? I don't think I have that many slots of herbs that I'm picking up right now that it's worth it. Journeyman, alchemist. Finally, up to 150. Okay. That's great. And then I put my potions away right now. Yeah, okay. That's fine. So that was one of the most important things I need to do here. And then finally, we're going to talk to really greasy gob uh, in the northeast in the Valley of Honor. It should be an easy quest. Then we'll go back to Crossroads and we'll be ready to rock for next episode. And we'll definitely hit 20 next episode, which I'm so excited for. There's so many... You might remember me talking about how much gold it costs. I do all the upgrades. It's a lot. Like, I will be broke after that. I will spend almost two gold, or about two gold exactly. So we'll see. Uh, yeah. So anyway. Uh, oh, I mean, keep meaning to talk about this. That I've talked about this on and off. And I think, based on YouTube comments, and actually uh, the company reached out to me about this, but uh, Patreon, one of the people that works there, one of their, their boyfriend, I believe it is, uh, likes my YouTube channel. They reached, oh, this is not the right, this is the, this room here that I mentioned. That's for the battlegrounds, the actual one I need is this little hut here. Anyway, basically through talking to someone at Patreon, talking to people that are, have comment on my YouTube channel, etc. I think I will start a Patreon for this channel sometime in the next month or two, by the end of April I'm hoping to get it ready to go. I'm really thinking through what I'm willing to do and what I want to offer to people uh, in addition to just having the video videos I always put up. Um, something I'm thinking about that I'm 95% sure I'm going to go forward with. So keep an eye out. I'll probably talk about it more specifically when I get it up and running. Um, long story short is I really hate when people have Patreons and they you start a video and it's like, so, you know, if you love this channel, like, subscribe, comment below, follow me on Twitter, and come to my Patreon and give me money. And then halfway through, they bring it up, and they have, like, things on screen. At the end of the video, they have stuff, and then their descriptions are spammed full of all this stuff, and their merch selling, and I find that obnoxious. And I'm in the fortunate position where I don't need to do that. So, uh, I'm... Not going to do that, but I will probably mention it at the end of my video. I'll probably put like a like a a little thing on my end screen, just like a little static image or something. That's probably all I'll ever do after the initial mention of it, because man, I just find it so obnoxious. Anyway, I'll mention it a little bit more when I finally get it up and running. That'll be the end of me ever talking about it, hopefully, because I just don't want to waste time asking for money all the time. So anyway, sorry about that. We did find a really greasy gob. Uh, what's this? Why it's a flange. Um, I'm finishing up another episode right now. Uh, what's this? Why, it's a samoflange. Where did you get this thing? Have you been poking around the venture company holdings in the barrens? You must be very brave or very stupid. Well, that's kind of rude from a goblin. Bring the samoflange manual to really greasy goblin or Grimar. Oh, okay. Um, I'm a little terrified of this quest. Boss Copper Plug. I know what this is like in the same spot we were at for the Cat's Eye Emerald, I think. 
Oh, I'm a little scared about doing this quest. Okay. We'll think about it. Um, did I already say thanks for watching? I feel like this is relevant. Um, anyway, I'm scared of this quest. I don't know if we can do this. This is a tough one. I'm really not sure I can do it. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Well, I, I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> I really don't know if I want to. It's kind of scary. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I am going to log out here. I'm actually going to hearth to Crossroads shortly. I might take a little detour over here and do some fishing for fun, but nah. Nah. Let's not do that. Let's just hearth. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do this quest. That I'm so scared of this one. Um, I know how to do this quest, but I, I don't want to go in a cave. In general... Long cave systems are just a death sentence, I think, in this series. Um, not that I've died there yet, but I just feel like I will. So I'm not sure I'm going to do that, but maybe I'll get, have the guts for it. Let's hit 20 first, maybe then I can have a lot of more escape mechanisms. Anyway, um, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.